September 4th and I hate to show you the plants when our hot sun's hitting them but uh, we are going to give this one a try right here um, I'm not quite sure if this one's ready if it's not we'll cancel this video out and you won't be seeing it right now and if it is then we we are gonna go ahead and test it right now and uh, show it to you guys like all the others we're trying to get some of the first ripe ones off as fast as possible this one right here is the atomic grape tomato every year we try to grow a several different large varieties a few different medium varieties and a couple different uh, cherry style or grape style tomatoes and this year we grew the black cherry in the atomic grape we have grown this one before I think we grew it last year mm -hmm. and we grew it the year before so this is one that we're not sure if is too green or not we'll have to take a look they've been on the vine for a long time um, has produced all three years for us excellent excellent and it's a really really good tomato personally I like my tomatoes a little underdone if I had to choose and I think Angel would prefer them a little overdone if she had to choose um, the thing I like about these ones is when we first had them what we believe was them um, even a few years ago they were I think a little bit underdone and being that way they tasted like plums to me so it tasted more like eating plums than it did a tomato at all and that really intrigued me so we've been looking for that same flavor that we got from those but the atomic grape um, I've seen pictures of these and they've had all different colors and stuff these ones tend to be the ones we get they will get that orange on them more when they're ripe but these ones right here have been on for a while so sometimes they keep green orange um, they'll get shoulders they'll also get this metallic sheen on them like it's almost like a metallic purpling where the shoulders is um, under certain lights and stuff but it's a really hot day we're looking at a cold snap coming up at the middle of next week so planning on lots of videos launching into this week and this is the atomic grape tomato We've also given several of these, well, a couple of these plants to neighbors as well in the five gallon bucket system, and they have produced for them as well. So take them inside, um, cut them open, let these ones ripen for our seeds as quickly as we can, and uh, show you what these tomatoes are all about and why we like them. But we'll catch you in a second. Love you guys. It is September 4th of 2020. <laughs> it's going. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hey guys, it is September 4th, 2020, and this here we have is the Atomic Grape. And um, we've got a couple that we feel are ripe enough to try. They've been on the vine for quite some time, and um, they're not really changing much. And so we decided to get these pulled off so it could help the other ones um, grow faster and ripen. There's a chance these are a little underdone, and I was feeling like they were green, but I reaffirmed and got on the computer and looked up the pictures and stuff, and that, that is the color that they generally turn out. It's uh, little streaks of orange with lots of green and then the darker color. Um, we really need a better setup for our... We're definitely not professionals. We need a better setup for our lighting. Um, it doesn't really show as well as we would like. And I hate to be disowned by family and friends, but this might be my favorite cherry tomato or grape style, smaller tomato. This one might beat out the black cherry for me. Oh, it's super juicy. Oh, it's ready. Yeah, it's definitely ready and it looks good. Um, it smells good. I'm just going to pop this whole piece right here right now. Mm. It is very good. And it reminds me more of a cherry tomato flavor. Like cherry tomatoes just have, they kind of have a specific flavor to them. It's hard to explain, but. Kind of like a tangy pop. Yeah, and that's what this has, and it is very good. I I like it a lot. I'll give this one a try. Definitely has that cherry tomato flavor, and with it being a bigger one, this would be great on salads, I think. Um, even just snacking on. 
Like it's just, it's really good, very juicy, and the bite that I took was quite refreshing actually. So this is cut the other direction. So yeah, these are really far along. They're really, really juicy, and it can be hard to tell when they're ripe because the green is a little bit of a normal of the coloring on them. Um, if you let them go over long and they get really orange, they're usually too juicy, and I don't like the flavor as much. Um, I like it when they're right on like this because it's more easy to snack on or bite into than it is soft. If I'm making sauces or something, I tend to like the tomatoes to be ripened as much as possible, though. But pepper you swallow wrong <laughs> yeah very yummy tomato um it has that more of a cherry tomato type taste to it um it's very juicy <coughs> it was very refreshing when i ate it um overall a really great great tomato with these couple pulled off the others out there will start ripening faster um we already have a bunch of the black cherry have been ripening for us and we've been snacking on so I hate to say it like it's it's not better than the black cherry yet but man this is like this is like notice for me a second favorite yeah a very close second and possibly a first favorite um we started growing it um <laughs> well a favorite we started growing <laughs> this one a couple years ago from baker creek seeds and then um and got some but it was the one tomato variety two seasons ago that we didn't save seeds from three seasons ago and then two seasons ago we did get some and save seeds on and then i think it was last season we saved seeds on so this is a second or third generation from that grow you guys this is an excellent tomato it produces well um it's really unique in color it's got a unique flavor I would say the diff the flavor difference is different than the black cherry tomato. Oh yeah. Um, maybe a little more tangy pop than the black cherry. The black cherry just seems to be smoother. Yeah, it's a sweeter cherry tomato, but this one does definitely has that cherry tomato flavor. Yeah, and it's super sweet. Like it, uh, plum like. I would say that the flavor is plum like, if that makes any sense. But the Atomic Grape, uh, I recommend if you uh, like growing cherry or uh, grape style tomatoes. And I'll catch you for in just a second. Man, eating tomatoes out of the yard is excellent, excellent, excellent. So the Atomic Grape, um, lots of flowering, lots of trussles of them. It produces like a cherry or grape style tomato, which is real viney and lots of. Uh, clusters of production. This is actually the black cherry here. And it is growing next to a black beauty, so really beautiful tomato, really uh, unique, sweet flavor, um, productive plant, and an excellent grow. So I would put it tied with the black cherry. There's no way it's beating the black cherry out for Angel right now. Um, she just loves snacking on those tomatoes. If I had the choice to come out here right now and choose this one, the Atomic Grape, or the black cherry ripe, though, I would be choosing the Atomic Grape. Angel, uh, she's going to go get those black cherry that I just spotted ripe any second now. But we love you guys. Um, sorry if there's a ton of videos coming out. We are just trying to keep up with what might be a cold spell coming in that's going to hurt a lot of the plants so we want to secure everything and make sure that we got what we got going good so we love you guys it is september 4th and we'll catch you next time love you thanks for watching